Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Gaming with me, Tony Mo. We are back here with another episode of Noob Tips for the Division. And today we're going to be looking at how recalibration works. Recalibration is an upgrade that you can make to the Tech Wing, which gives you the ability to reroll stat bonuses on your gear. Just on your gear. I should make that very clear. It does not work for firearms or any of your weapons. It is masks, body armor, backpacks, gloves, holsters, and knee pads only. Now, it's actually a fairly cheap tech wing upgrade. I think it's 400 or 200 credits. Uh, so it's something you can purchase early on. But we'll talk a little bit later as to why I don't feel you should utilize it early on. But first, let's look at how it actually functions. So in this instance, we have my uh, body armor here, my contractor vest body armor, which I've actually already recalibrated a stat on. You'll notice that because the stat is highlighted so you can see plus two percent smart cover damage resilience now when i first got this contractor vest it had a bonus to ballistic shield health now my character build never uses a ballistic shield i'm primarily focused on smart cover as well as healing components so either the healing station or the healing grenade so i took the opportunity to reroll the stat on it it costed me ten thousand credits at that point in time and was able to have four choices. So we're actually gonna, we'll reroll something else for you guys. But what I wanted to point out uh, initially is that you'll notice the current cost of recalibrating a stat on this is 18,375 credits. The way recalibration works is every time you recalibrate calibrate any stat on a given piece of, of equipment or gear, that becomes more expensive. Not to mention, the cost is also increased by the overall value of that equipment. So superior is going to cost more than specialized. So let's, for example, take a look at hmm, these are all actually they're all actually in pretty good places right now. My armor, I'll be completely honest. Um, OK, here we go. This is actually a good one. I don't use mobile cover damage at all. I don't use mobile cover. So let's take a look at rerolling this. So we're going to go ahead and hit A here. We're going to select mobile cover damage. You can see there's a list of possible recalibrations. We're going to roll the attribute. As soon as you roll it, you're throwing your cash in. You don't get to see what it is and then back out of it. It's sort of a roll of the dice. So 2,350 credits. About to go out the window there. And here we go. So we have a choice between mobile cover damage, ballistic shield health. Mobile cover damage resilience and first aid ally heal. So not exactly the best set of recalibrations, but at least we have the first aid ally heal. And as my character is more support medic based, uh, this is going to be far more beneficial than something I would never use like mobile cover. I don't use mobile cover at all. It's completely useless to me. No one in my fire team even uses mobile cover. So it's, it's ultra useless. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to select this. It's going to ask us to confirm that we want to replace 2% mobile cover damage with 5.5% first aid ally heal. We're going to say yes. And you're going to notice the cost of recalibrating that item has now went up again. So we're at 4,700 credits rather than the 2,000. 350 so it has doubled the cost of recalibration for this item and that's just how the damn cookie crumbles every time you recalibrate something it becomes more expensive to recalibrate it again either way though wicked cool system wicked cool rpg system that i did not expect to see in the game i, I really never thought they would do something like this i wasn't quite sure how far they were going to push those rpg components but they really did and i quite like having this now, time for a bit of personal opinion on as to when you should actually use the recalibration station. Here's the thing. It's quite costly to recalibrate items, and unless you really are just sitting on a massive stack of credits, it doesn't make sense to recalibrate, say, a level 20 item like I've done. I've done this specifically for showing you guys how to do this. Otherwise, I would not have recalibrated any of this stuff, um, except for the Aramid pads, which was completely me exploring with the recalibration station and then immediately afterwards realizing I had just spent 15,000 credits to recalibrate these pads for support station healing speed and then being like oh yeah I'll probably be replacing these within the next day and that's the thing to really pay attention to the recalibration station really makes sense for end game gear so once you hit level 30 and you're acquiring high end or superior gear that you plan on taking into the challenge mode missions or that mysterious raid that we may or may not actually get our hands on. That's really when it makes sense to recalibrate a piece of gear. Like a piece of gear that you know you're going to be able to hold on to for quite some time. And you want to make sure it's perfect 
so that you're getting every single possible stat bonus applied to your current set of abilities and, uh, you know, overall character build. But to recalibrate a level 20 piece of gear, it's kind of a waste of credits. Chances are you're going to replace it very soon after, and you don't really need to meta that hard when it comes to gear attributes until you are actually doing those challenge missions. But at the end of the day, it's completely up to you. If you have the credits and you want to spend them and you really like that contractor vest and you feel like you're going to be able to hold on to it for 10 more levels, I've been able to hold on to mine for five. So, you know, it wasn't like it was that bad of a decision at the end of the day, I suppose. But that's my personal thoughts on the recalibration station. Awesome system in the game. Really like the idea of it, and I'm looking forward to being able to finely tune some of that gorgeous gold high-end gear when the time comes. But that's going to do it, guys. That is how the recalibration station works. So hopefully it saves you some credits in the end by not accidentally just recalibrating everything under the sun like I sort of almost did when I first started looking at it. Uh, if you guys have any questions regarding the station how it works anything i didn't cover here or just anything else you'd like to ask me about the division feel free to throw it down in the comment section below now i actually put out two videos today so i want to make sure you guys take note of the second video because i'm basically looking at my character build currently giving you guys a bit of an update walking around the base of operations it is definitely worth checking out if you're interested to see how my character progress is going there will be an annotation on the screen in the form of a card you can click on it head over to that video right now and give it a go or vice versa. I'll see you in the next one.